this lambda times one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So the case for lambda equals one. I'm going to have seven minus lambda, so this is going to be seven minus one. I leave those alone. Times v one. going to be 0. So this is going to be 3 minus 8 minus lambda. And then I'm going to have 3. I'm going to have 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, and minus 2 minus lambda. So let's rewrite this. I'm going to have 6 minus 18 and 9. 3 minus 9, 3 0, 0, minus 3. Don't know what this vector is, so I'm just going to arbitrarily call it x, y, z. It is 0, 0, 0. And I know it's got three entries because this is 3 by 3. I'm going to create my augmented matrix. Again, I really don't need these zeros, but I'm going to keep them here just to be complete. Uh, first thing I notice is there's a lot of threes. Everything's divisible by three. So let me clean this up. Let me divide row one by three. I'm going to do row two and row three just because I can. So it's going to give me a two minus three. Oops. Can't add. So this is going to be 2 minus 6, 3. It's going to be 1 minus 3, 1. It's going to be 0, 0, minus 1, 0. All right. So now here I'm going to take row 2. This is my pivot. And I'm going to subtract 1 half of row 1 to make a 0 there. Notice that's already a zero, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. Leave the first row alone. It's going to be 1 minus 1, minus 3, minus a minus 3 is 0. And I've got to be careful here. That's going to be 1 minus 3 halves. It's going to be minus 1 half. That's going to be a zero, and I leave that alone. And now I come down to here. There's no more uh, entries in this column, so that means this is going to be my pivot. And what am I going to do? I'm going to take row three and add two times row two. Leave these two rows alone. I get 0, 0, minus, oops, that should be a subtraction, right? Sorry about that. So this is going to be minus 1, minus a minus 1 half, or times 2. Can give me 0, 0. And now this is my uh, augmented matrix in row echelon form. So now I've got to interpret what this says. This is the X, Y, and Z columns. This row says what? Minus 1 half Z is 0. So this says Z is 0. This row says 2X minus 6Y plus 3Z is 0. But I know Z is 0, so I have 2X minus 6Y is 0. X was my pivot, so I'm going to solve for X. So I get X is 3Y. So my vector now, I said, was X, Y, Z. X is 3Y. 
no pivot associated with y, so I leave it be. I know z is 0. I can factor out the y to get 3, 1, 0. So for lambda 1 equals 1, my eigenvector, I'm just going to arbitrarily choose y equals 1, is 3, 1, 0. So anything that looks like a number times 3, 1, 0 will be an eigenvector whose eigenvalue associated with it is 1. And so I would have that for my eigenvector and eigenvalue. Uh, and the eigenspace is the span of 3, 1, 0. So basically anything that looks like y times 3, 1, 0, y is any number. All right, Whew. let's try minus 2 now. And again, I'm going to have a minus lambda. I've got a 3 by 3 matrix. So it looks like this. So I'm going to have 7 minus a minus 2. From there, it's going to be minus 18 minus 0. 9 minus 0 times v2. It's going to be 0. 3 minus 0. This is going to be minus 8 minus a minus 2. Then 3 minus 0. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. And minus 2. Oops, something went wrong. Is this correct? All right, I guess we'll see. So 7 plus 2, minus 8 plus 2, minus 2. I guess it's okay. So minus a minus 2. All right, we're okay. Sorry. I was off, but I forgot the minus sign. Okay, so let's clean this up. 9 minus 18, 9, 3, minus 6, 3, 0, 0, 0, v2 is 0. Let's put it in the augmented matrix. So I'm going to have 9 minus 18, 9, and I'm assuming v2 is in the form x, y, z. No, I don't know what those are yet. We have 3, minus 6, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, uh, again, I can clean some stuff up here. I'm going to take row 1 and divide through by 9. And I'm going to take row 2 and divide through by 3, just to make it a little cleaner. So that will give me 1, minus 2, 1. This will give me 1, minus 2, 1. I'll leave that alone. And so now I'm just going to take, there's my pivot. I'm going to get a 0 there. So I'm going to take row 2 minus row 1. So I leave this alone. I'm going to get 1 minus 1, minus 2 plus 2, 1 minus 1. I leave that row alone. And I'm now in row echelon form, right? I only have one pivot. Uh, everything below it is zero. All the zeros rows are below at the bottom, and everything is good. So what does this mean? This says x minus two y plus z is zero. There's my pivot. Notice I'm not doing anything different than what we've done before. So this is two y minus z. So that means now my v two I just said was x y z. Since it, x is a pivot, I can replace it with 2y minus z. There's no restrictions on y or z here. y or z can be anything, so I can't do anything with that. So those are not pivots. 
I'm going to play a game here. I'm going to break this up. Anything with a y, I'm going to put in one vector. Anything with a z, I'm going to put in a separate vector because I'm adding and subtracting them. And now, since this only has y's, I can write this as 2, 1, 0 times y. And this I can write as z times minus 1, 0, 1. So my eigenspace, so there's no restrictions on y or z, is the span of the vectors given by 2, 1, 0 and minus 1, 0, 1. So any linear combination of these two vectors will give me an eigenvector with a corresponding eigenvalue of minus 2. And the way we would present this is, because that's kind of confusing, so we're going to make it even more confusing by hiding what we're doing. I would say lambda 2 uh, is minus 2, that's the eigenvalue. There are two eigenvectors, oops, lambda, we already have a lambda 1, or v1. v2 is 2, 1, 0, and v3 is minus 1, 0, 1. And what I'm doing here is these two vectors form a basis for the eigenspace. So they're not the eigenvectors, they are eigenvectors but in terms of finding all of them, I need to take any linear combination of these two things because they have the same eigenvalue associated with them. So if I present you with an eigenvalue that has two associated eigenvectors, this is really a basis for the eigenspace or the set of all vectors whose eigenvalue is given by that number. All right, thank you.